in the branch of mathematics called differential geometry. An affine connection is a geometric object on a smooth manifold which connects nearby tangent spaces, and so permits tangent vector fields to be differentiated as if they were functions on the manifold with values in a fixed vector space. The notion of an affine connection has its roots in 19th century geometry and tensor calculus but was not fully developed until the early 1920s. By Ella Carton and Herman Weyl, the terminology is due to Carton and has its origins in the identification of tangent spaces in Euclidean space Rn by translation. The idea is that a choice of affine connection makes a manifold look infinitesimally like Euclidean space not just smoothly, but as an affine space. On any manifold of positive dimension there are infinitely many affine connections. If the manifold is further endowed with a Riemannian metric then there is a natural choice of affine connection, called the Levi-Civita connection. The choice of an affine connection is equivalent to prescribing a way of differentiating vector fields which satisfies several reasonable properties. This yields a possible definition of an affine connection as a covariant derivative or connection on the tangent bundle. A choice of affine connection is also equivalent to a notion of parallel transport, which is a method for transporting tangent vectors along curves. This also defines a parallel transport on the frame bundle. Infinitesimal parallel transport in the frame bundle yields another description of an affine connection, either as a Cartan connection for the affine group or as a principal connection on the frame bundle. The main invariants of an affine connection are its torsion and its curvature. The torsion measures how closely the Lie bracket of vector fields can be recovered from the affine connection. Affine connections may also be used to define geodesics on a manifold, generalizing the straight lines of Euclidean space. Although the geometry of those straight lines can be very different from usual Euclidean geometry, the main differences are encapsulated in the curvature of the connection, motivation and history. A smooth manifold is a mathematical object which looks locally like a smooth deformation of Euclidean space Rn. For example a smooth curve or surface looks locally like a smooth deformation of a line or a plane. Smooth functions and vector fields can be defined on manifolds, just as they can on Euclidean space. And scalar functions on manifolds can be differentiated in a natural way. However, differentiation of vector fields is less straightforward. This is a simple matter in Euclidean space. Because the tangent space of based vectors at a point P can be identified naturally with the tangent space at a nearby point Q. On a general manifold, there is no such natural identification between nearby tangent spaces and so tangent vectors at nearby points cannot be compared in a well-defined way. The notion of an affine connection was introduced to remedy this problem by connecting nearby tangent spaces. The origins of this idea can be traced back to two main sources, surface theory and tensor calculus. Motivation from surface theory consider a smooth surface S in three-dimensional Euclidean space. Near to any point, S can be approximated by its tangent plane at that point, which is an affine subspace of Euclidean space. Differential geometers in the 19th century were interested in the notion of development in which one surface was rolled along another, without slipping or twisting. In particular, the tangent plane to a point of S can be rolled on S. This should be easy to imagine when S is a surface like the two-sphere, which is the smooth boundary of a convex region. As the tangent plane is rolled on S, the point of contact traces out a curve on S. Conversely, given a curve on S, the tangent plane can be rolled along that curve. This provides a way to identify the tangent planes at different points along the curve. In particular, a tangent vector in the tangent space at one point on the curve is identified with a unique tangent vector at any other point on the curve. These identifications are always given by affine transformations from one tangent plane to another. 
This notion of parallel transport of tangent vectors by affine transformations along a curve has a characteristic feature. The point of contact of the tangent plane with the surface always moves with the curve under parallel translation. This generic condition is characteristic of Cartan connections. In more modern approaches, the point of contact is viewed as the origin in the tangent plane, and the movement of the origin is corrected by a translation, so that parallel transport is linear, rather than affine. In the point of view of Cartan connections, however, the affine subspaces of Euclidean space are model surfaces, they are the simplest surfaces in Euclidean 3 space and are homogeneous under the affine group of the plane, and every smooth surface has a unique model surface tangent to it at each point. These model surfaces are Klein geometries in the sense of Felix Klein's Erlangen program. More generally, an n-dimensional affine space is a Klein geometry for the affine group affiliation. The stabilizer of a point being the general linear group GL, an affine n-manifold is then a manifold which looks infinitesimally like n-dimensional affine space. Motivation from tensor calculus The second motivation for affine connections comes from the notion of a covariant derivative of vector fields. Before the advent of coordinate independent methods, it was necessary to work with vector fields using their components in coordinate charts. These components can be differentiated, but the derivatives do not transform in a manageable way under changes of coordinates. Correction terms were introduced by Elwin Bruno Christoffel in the 1870s so that the derivative of one vector field along another transformed covariantly under coordinate transformations. These correction terms subsequently came to be known as Christoffel symbols. The idea was developed into the theory of the absolute differential calculus by Gregorio Ricci-Kirk Bastro and his student Giulio Levi Civita between 1880 and the turn of the 20th century. The tensor calculus really came to life, however, with the advent of Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity in 1915. A few years after this, Levi Savita formalized the unique connection associated to a Riemannian metric, now known as the Levi Savita connection. More general affine connections were then studied around 1920 by Herman Weyl, who developed a detailed mathematical foundation for general relativity, and Ellie Carton, who made the link with the geometrical ideas coming from surface theory. Approaches The complex history has led to the development of widely varying approaches to and generalizations of the affine connection concept. The most popular approach is probably the definition motivated by covariant derivatives. On the one hand, the ideas of Weyl were taken up by physicists in the form of gauge theory and gauge covariant derivatives. On the other hand, the notion of covariant differentiation was abstracted by Jean-Louis Cossuel, who defined connections on vector bundles. In this language, an affine connection is simply a covariant derivative or connection on the tangent bundle. However, this approach does not explain the geometry behind affine connections nor how they acquired their name. The term really has its origins in the identification of tangent spaces in Euclidean space by translation. This property means that Euclidean n space is an affine space. As mentioned in the introduction, there are several ways to make this precise. One uses the fact that an affine connection defines a notion of parallel transport of vector fields along a curve. This also defines a parallel transport on the frame bundle. Infinitesimal parallel transport in the frame bundle yields another description of an affine connection, either as a Cartan connection for the affine group affiliation or as a principal GL connection on the frame bundle. Formal definition as a differential operator. Let M be a smooth manifold and let C infinity be the space of vector fields on M, that is, the space of smooth sections of the tangent bundle trademark. Then an affine connection on M is a bilinear map such that for all smooth functions F in C infinity and all vector fields X, Y on M, that is, is C infinity linear in the first variable. 
that is, satisfies Leibniz's rule in the second variable. Elementary properties It follows from the property above that the value of x y at a point x m depends only on the value of x at x and not on the value of x on m minus x. It also follows from property above that the value of x y at a point x m depends only on the value of y on a neighborhood of x. If 1, 2 are affine connections then the value at x of 1 x y minus 2 x y may be written gamma x where gamma x t x m times t x m t x m is bilinear and depends smoothly on x. Conversely if is an affine connection and gamma is such a smooth bilinear bundle homomorphism then plus gamma is an affine connection. If M is an open subset of Rn, then the tangent bundle of M is the trivial bundle M times Rn. In this situation there is a canonical affine connection D on M. Any vector field Y is given by a smooth function V from M to Rn, then DXY is the vector field corresponding to the smooth function DV equals XY from M to Rn. Any other affine connection on M may therefore be written equals D plus gamma, where gamma is a connection form on M. More generally, a local trivialization of the tangent bundle is a bundle isomorphism between the restriction of trademark to an open subset U of M, and U times Rn. The restriction of an affine connection to U may then be written in the form D plus gamma where gamma is a connection form on U. Parallel transport for affine connections. Comparison of tangent vectors at different points on a manifold is generally not a well-defined process. An affine connection provides one way to remedy this using the notion of parallel transport, and indeed this can be used to give a definition of an affine connection. Let M be a manifold with an affine connection. Then a vector field x is said to be parallel if x equals 0 in the sense that for any vector field y, y x equals 0. Intuitively speaking, parallel vectors have all their derivatives equal to 0 and are therefore in some sense constant. By evaluating a parallel vector field at two points x and y, an identification between a tangent vector at x and one at y is obtained. Such tangent vectors are said to be parallel transports of each other. Unfortunately, non-zero parallel vector fields do not, in general, exist, because the equation x equals zero is a partial differential equation which is overdetermined. The integrability condition for this equation is the vanishing of the curvature of. However, if this equation is restricted to a curve from x to y it becomes an ordinary differential equation. There is then a unique solution for any initial value of x at x. More precisely, if gamma I am a smooth curve parametrized by an interval a, b, and she tx m, where x equals gamma, then a vector field x along gamma is called the parallel transport of she along gamma if for all t, a, b. Formally, the first condition means that x is parallel with respect to the pullback connection on the pullback bundle gamma asterisk trademark. However, in a local trivialization it is a first-order system of linear ordinary differential equations, which has a unique solution for any initial condition given by the second condition. Thus parallel transport provides a way of moving tangent vectors along a curve using the affine connection to keep them pointing in the same direction in an intuitive sense. And this provides a linear isomorphism between the tangent spaces at the two ends of the curve. The isomorphism obtained in this way will in general depend on the choice of the curve. If it does not, then parallel transport along every curve can be used to define parallel vector fields on M, which can only happen if the curvature of is zero. A linear isomorphism is determined by its action on an ordered basis or frame. Hence parallel transport can also be characterized as a way of transporting elements of the frame bundle GL along a curve. In other words, the affine connection provides a lift of any curve gamma in M to a curve in GL.
Formal definition on the frame bundle. An affine connection may also be defined as a principal GL connection omega on the frame bundle FM or GL of a manifold M. In more detail, omega is a smooth map from the tangent bundle T of the frame bundle to the space of N times N matrices of the Lie group GL of invertible N times N matrices, satisfying two properties. Omega is equivariant with respect to the action of GL on T and GL. Omega equals Xi for any Xi and GL, where X Xi is the vector field on FM corresponding to Xi. Such a connection Omega immediately defines a covariant derivative not only on the tangent bundle, but on vector bundles associated to any group representation of GL, including bundles of tenses and tensor densities. Conversely, an affine connection on the tangent bundle determines an affine connection on the frame bundle, for instance, by requiring that omega vanishes on tangent vectors to the lifts of curves to the frame bundle defined by parallel transport. The frame bundle also comes equipped with a sol the form theta, trn which is horizontal in the sense that it vanishes on vertical vectors such as the point values of the vector fields x xi. Indeed, theta is defined first by projecting a tangent vector to m, then by taking the components of this tangent vector on m with respect to the frame f. Note that theta is also gl equivariant acts on rn by matrix multiplication. The pair define a bundle isomorphism of T with the trivial bundle FM times AFF, where AFF is the Cartesian product of RN and GL.